Member Graves for taking the time to hold this very important hearing. Uh, I have the honor of representing California's Central Valley here in Congress, and so unsurprisingly, I'm here to talk about water. Uh, back home, our water infrastructure is more about than just sustaining the practical drinking needs of our community. My great-great-grandfather came out on a wagon train and in 1850. He settled in the Central Valley because at the time we had the best soil and most importantly, the best water in the country. Uh, that's the key to our livelihoods and to our entire agricultural way of life. Uh, our region's access to water allows us to deliver over half of America's fruits, nuts, and vegetables. But our water infrastructure is aging. It hasn't kept pace with the growing population in the agricultural industry, uh, and let alone the impacts of, of climate change, which are exacerbating the droughts and the boom and bust cycles we have. Uh, this is a national and local priority, and we need some real smart investments here. On the heels of California's uh, worst drought, we have an obligation to move quickly to invest to prepare for the one that we know is just around the corner. California already has the most variable rainfall in the, in the country. We're locked into this boom and bust cycle. We have to capitalize on the boom years, like this one, where we have a lot of rain and a lot of water, to get us through the busts, which we know uh, always happen. Uh, the only way we can do that is if we actually invest in infrastructure projects. In the past, we've failed to take advantage of these, and we've suffered. Uh, we should have made investments into our water systems 20 years ago, but the best thing we can be doing is making those investments today. In 2012, the American Society of Civil Engineers graded the state's levy and flood control a D, and the urban runoff infrastructure and programs a D plus. It's not the grades we're looking for, and these ratings, are, I think, are really unacceptable and unsustainable in an area of the country like ours that has some real challenges. As a committee, uh, you have recognized that the federal government used to pay 75% of the total project cost for water infrastructure uh, in improvements, and today the federal government pays about 5%. I think we can agree that that's uh, a dereliction of duty. That's why I announced the, the Save Water Resources Act just last week. This bill invests in water infrastructure, supports surface and groundwater storage below ground, and ensures we build infrastructure that lasts more than a few years down the road, but for the long term. We need to make sure that we're ensuring the water security of our region 50, 100 years into the future. Uh, some parts of this bill increase funding or reauthorize key programs that we should prioritize as we're considering a new infrastructure package. Uh, my Central Valley colleagues agree. I led a letter with five other California Central Valley members on addressing the need to do a couple things. Uh, first, to encourage the development of climate resilient technologies that can withstand the impacts of severe droughts, floods, and wildfires that are now stretching 365 days a year. Uh, it also supports many of the water infrastructure projects authorized in the WIN Act, including much needed surface and groundwater storage projects, water recycling projects, and, and desalination. And third, it invests in programs that support the development, management, and improvement of water projects like the U.S. Corps of Engineers Civil Works Program. Uh, it expands federal financing for new water projects by authorizing and expanding the Water Infrastructure Financing and Innovation Act and the Reclamation Infrastructure and Financing uh, and Innovation Act, known as WIFIA and RIFIA. And then it finally funds federal programs that provide states with the financial support to encourage water infrastructure projects that improve water quality like the Drinking Water State Revolving Water uh, Fund and the Clean Water State Revolving Fund. We have kids in the California Central Valley in Monterey Track in my district who have rashes if they go and try to take a shower with the drinking water that we have. The Rural Water Drinking, uh, the, the uh, Clean Water Drinking Act has expired. That's exactly what we need to be reauthorizing. We do that in my bill. If we commit to making these investments, we're gonna protect not only the local needs of our valley, but the country's access to, to healthy homegrown food. It's not just a priority for us, it's a priority for anyone who eats dinner or breakfast anywhere in, in the country. I encourage this committee to prioritize investments in, in our failing water systems alongside our need to invest in our roads, bridges, and transit systems, and I look forward to continue to work alongside you to develop the best infrastructure program we can for the people I have an honor of representing in the Central Valley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back and open for any questions.